Y'all ready? Salute, salute. All my generals, all my kings. Y'all already know what it is. All my lions. Let's get into it. Attica Correctional Facility. Attica Correctional Facility. My first official max. After I got sentenced and hit with 12 years. I did cadre. Cadre is basically a unit in downstate correctional facility. Downstate correctional facility, for those that are not familiar with it, is this first. It's downstate and Oster are the two correctional facilities. You're going to go to either or before you go to your main jail upstate when you sentence. Oster usually takes, Oster um, correctional facility usually takes people that are just doing mediums time, meaning like seven years and under. Downstate, seven years and up, that's where you're going. That's how they differentiate from where you're going. Seven years and under, medium. Seven years up, max. So, downstate. That is, I believe, Beacon, New York. Shout out to Beacon, New York. Cause, yo, we got bros out in Beacon, New York, believe it or not. We got bros out there, which I was surprising to me. And that was years ago, so I can imagine now. Anyway. I get into some bullshit. I got. I was fortunate enough to be one of the ones that could qualify, right? Not really. Well, yeah, qualify, I guess. Because when you get orientated, they ask you, would you like to stay in this facility? Anybody going up north, upstate, doing time. The main thing you wish on, hope on, pray on. Is that you stay as close as motherfucking possible to New York City. <laughs> Period. The closest jail to New York City is where you want to be at. Downstate is one of the closest jails you can fucking be at. There's a, there's, there's a handful of others. Like Sing Sing. Um, and um, what else? Sing Sing. I believe Fish Kill. Um, and his and his, and his other ones also, but anyway, so the opportunity came where I could actually stay there, you know, for the beginning of my bed. Not like my whole. Some people like it's almost impossible to stay there your whole bed during the time I was doing. But you can stay there for a little while, get comfortable, and then they'll ship you somewhere sweet if you do good. They'll ship they because they are jails that are that are sweet. Like Adirondacks and shit like that. You got Altona. You got you got certain correctional facilities that are yeah they sweet. Nobody really popping off like that. Everybody just you know there's always some bullshit because it's prison, but it's not like Attica. It's not like Wyoming. It's not like Franklin. It's not like Sing Sing. It's not like Clinton. It's not like Comstock. It's not like the CAC. So definitely not like Green. But it's a sweet spot. I ended up lasting, I believe, approximately like eight months or some shit like that. I went up in 01. I got an 01 number, 018. So when I went up in 01, that was my spot. I tried to take advantage of it. Shout out to my nigga Cito. That's my twin. Shout out to my nigga Panda. That's my twin. Um, Shout out to Steve-O. That's my twin from High Bridge, BX, repping all day, every day. Um, who else? Shout out to um 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 SC One. Shout out to um my nigga Pitt from Brooklyn. Who else? I know I'm missing a bunch. It was a, it was a couple of real motherfuckers in there. I ain't gonna lie. It was, even though it was a little kind of a soft spot. There was some real dudes in there, you know. But they was playing chess and not checkers. Feel me? But anyway, my dumb ass ended up playing checkers. <laughs> I fucked it up, right? I, I, I stood there for, like, like I said, I, I believe it was like eight months. Then I fucked it up. Went to the box. That's when I met Sean from Bad Boy. Because he was in PC. IPC means involuntary protective custody. Because of the case. He had a high, you know, that was a high profile case at that time. And remember what I'm talking about. I went up 01. That's the same time that he got hit with, like, 
the same amount of time. I think I got he got I got 12. I think he I think he had like 12 or 15, something like that, or 10, something like that. So anyway, I met Sean. That's irrelevant. I got sent up north after 30 days of being in that box. They sent me to Attica. Fucking bus ride was fucking like 10 to 12 hours, twin. Imagine being on a fucking bus. Cuffed. Box on your cuffs. Shackled. And shackled to a motherfucker next to you. For 12 motherfucking hours. Because these cock-sucking crackers want to drive literally like 45 miles per hour. They do it on purpose to get that money. They don't give a fuck about us. Unless you shoot somebody on that bus. You shoot somebody, the motherfuckers is doing a honey. Ha, <laughs> ha, fat. They speeding. Anyway. Attica Correctional Facility, once you pull up in front of that bitch, you know it's real. There's no gassing it up. There's no, like, bro, that shit, you know you in prison. You know you in prison, prison. Because it looks crazy. It looks like a big-ass castle, bro. With a big-ass wall wrapped all around it. Before you go into that jail, when you pass, when you're going up that, whatever that road is. The last thing you see before you see that jail is a Masonic temple. A Masonic temple. It's right there. Unless they don't re-renovate it, broke it down. This That shit is the first thing. That's the. The last thing you see before you see the jail is a fucking Masonic temple. And it says it right there. Masonic jail. <laughs> this shit is real talk, twins. No games, no bullshit. Y'all know how I give it up. Once you get into Attica, them crackers let you know off the rip. This is not Rikers Island. And this is not Downstate. So, this is when you're given an option, basically, right? Because I know a lot of people, I want to I wanna hear y'all comments on this. Let me know what y'all think. Like, Because cause I know a lot of motherfuckers are going to be like, why well, I never let somebody do that, don't do this, or whatever. All right. Some people do, like, they turn up. But when you get processed, before they strip search you, they just pat you down. And search you. But they do a thing. That's called. The credit card. Yep. The motherfucking credit card. That's what they call it. Obviously. Y'all know. Or kind of. Have an idea what I'm talking about right. Swipe. That's what credit cards are used for. Swiping. So they do two things to degrade you, to break you down, and to make you react in a way that's going to make them beat the brakes off you. So they push your buttons. I ain't going to lie, them motherfuckers had to be gay. Because there was no amount of money you would have fucking was going to pay me. To do what the fuck I'm about to tell you. They was doing to everybody. And when I say everybody. I mean every motherfucker that went to that jail. Don't get it twisted. If you pop, you pop. Salute. Some was. Some wasn't with it. Like what the fuck. And I'm going to explain to y'all why. So check it out. <sighs> they knew. The way that we, when I say we, I say convicts, inmates, prisoners. The only way we smuggle in any type of weapons or contraband into the facility is if we have it cheat in our buttocks. 
o in our ass. No homo. But that's that's what it is. It's either both or it's cheat. Some people try to stash it in their clothes, but no. When it comes to a weapon, a razor, that's in your ass, man. Nine times out of ten. Because that's the only way you could like guarantee that you're not going to get caught with it. Because if you got it wrapped up right, you got the string on it, you got the whole stuff, make sure you ain't cutting. I mean, you got you do it properly. And we're not talking about no fucking big. We're talking about a small ass little fucking razor. You know what I'm saying? It's through your ass for being cheap. These motherfuckers will have you. Put your hands on the wall. Back you up. And then put their fucking hand. Like this. In the crack of your ass, twin. You got anything cheap? Nah, I ain't no nah, 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 cheap. Well, I'ma check. Fuck, I'ma check. Next thing you know, you feel a fucking grown ass cracker. <laughs> Putting his fucking hand between your butt. Not like inside your pants. But still, man. On the outside, he still, he, he swiping your ass cheeks, my man. You getting credit card. You are fucking getting credit card. And it's degrading, bro. And it's degrading. I ain't gonna, yo, bro. I, 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 when that shit happened, I'm like, what the fuck? I didn't know. I knew. I kind of knew, like, what they was trying, because he's talking shit in my ear while he's doing it. And what, how they do it is where it's not just one dude around you. It's like three, four, five CEOs around you when they do this shit. And the minute you act up, they washing you up. They're beating the brakes out you. They're not, they're not, they're not, they're not, they're not playing. They're making examples. They think was to make examples. I'm saying we're gonna make an example. I mean, to be honest with you, once you're in the jail and you go through it, you don't whatever you do, you know you're gonna get washed up. Period. Whenever you pop off, you're gonna get washed up. You accept that. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't really stop a lot, but it does definitely show you that you have to move a certain type of way in that bitch. Because them motherfuckers is not the CEOs on Rikers Island. They're racist, white, crackers. Period. Maybe not all of them, but the majority of them. That shit right there was crazy. Motherfucker credit called me. Uh, you ain't got nothing. Talk shit in my ear. I'm like, I ain't know what to fucking do. Or he felt me like my body tense up. Or what, you don't like that? In my ear. In the back of my mind, I'm like, oh, this motherfucker trying to get me off. I, I, I figured out what they're trying to do. They're trying, they're trying to get me to get my hands off the wall, look back, turn anything to beat the brakes off me. I ain't had no wins, you know what I'm saying? Because there was no way I was... <laughs> I ain't had no wins. It wasn't going to happen. I would have had to beat up wild COs. And I still would have ended up getting fucked up. So I was the type of, I, was, I was like, all right. They did that. They violated. I, ain't, I, nigga, I felt violated. I felt violated. I ain't gonna lie. I fucking felt violated. I hated the motherfuckers from that very moment. I never really had that much hate for correction officers. It was just like, you know, they doing their job, whatever, boom, boom, boom. But that's the honest shit. When I went to Attica, that shit changed, bro. Nah. I felt violated, my nigga. And they violate every motherfucker that goes through that jail. So any motherfucker that's going to sit here and watch this video, listen to this content, and tell me that they ain't go through it when they went to Attica, at least during my era, you're a fucking liar. Period. You're a fucking liar. Now, Get the pop. You know, they, they keep you on, lock door, uh, on lockdown for a little minute when you get to your housing unit or whatever, right? So, I'm going to fast forward it a little bit. That, I just want to have to paint that picture for y'all so y'all can see that. That shit, that shit is crazy, right? It is. You know? And they was doing that every day. Think about it. Every day is new inmates coming in. New convicts coming in. Every day. And that's what they doing, them motherfuckers. Every day, bro. Think about that. 
And then every once, every day, there's probably one or two. It's like, yo, what the fuck? And they turn around. Boom, 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 They just, they just Bruce Lee your ass, bro. And leave your ass leaking in the fucking floor. Yo, they, they, they were dirty. They was doing niggas dirty in the attic. I'm not going to lie. The motherfuckers was on it. So check it out. I'm in population. So I'm in A block. It's a lot of it's a lot of killers out. I'm in the A block. They called it Afghanistan, bro. That's what A block was called, Afghanistan, because it was just nothing but young motherfuckers with lights out. And on top of it, they had nothing but young white racist COs that was just out to like always put work in. Also, no lie, twin. The COs was trying to put work in like the way we was on us. So it's like when you pop, you know what it is. You getting washed, so you might as well pop on them too. Get one of them, because they're going to beat the brakes off you. Facts. Yo, it was young COs. It was all in their 20s. You got to put a couple of old heads, but in A block? Nah, it was a bunch of correction officers that was like 20 something, 30 something. That's it. That's it. And you got a bunch of motherfuckers from New York City. Upstate New York also. That's that same age. And they doing life in prison. For murder. For armed robberies. All types of crazy shit. You feel me? That was when I first met Blue Boy. Shout out to Blue Boy. Salute. That motherfucker's crazy. I ain't even gonna lie. He a crazy motherfucker. But, um... So, Blue Boy... Basically, I mean, blue boy. So, when I'm in Attica, and I first hit the yard, the phones is all controlled by individual gangs. But the crazy shit is that you still can only stay on the phone for a certain amount of time. Like, you only get, like, a certain amount. The the CEOs is, like, watching people like, yo, they, they monitor the amount of time that you on the phone to make it fair so that everybody else in there can get on the phone. But, you know, all you got to do is punch your ID numbers in and your PIN and you call. But, at that time, but, if you was king, you would have to hit the king phone. If you was blood, blood phone. And it was like, a couple of phones. I ain't gonna front. It was like four, five, six phones in that yard. And like in the maxes, they got a lot of phones in them yards. And but every phone, it was certain people. I can't say owned them, but they thought they owned them. They was claiming, trying to claim them. So fucking um. I'm waiting on line to get on the phone. I'll never forget this. I'm waiting on line to get on the phone. I don't know. Now, I'm King. Shout out to King Love. Old crazy motherfucker. That was the first bro that I that I met when I was there. <clears throat> now. The rules and regulations for the kings was like, you're not obligated to automatically just go to a castle. And when I say a castle, again, what I mean is like whatever correctional facility you go to and there's bros there, that's your castle. So you're not obligated within the first 36 hours to let your presence be known. You are supposed to or can just observe first. You don't have to let motherfuckers know that you banging. I mean, your bros. Like if somebody else asks you something, ain't no denying I you know mean, yo, you bang, yeah. Even if a bro asks you, you bang, you can't say no. But if they don't ask you, you don't have to volunteer information for at least two days, right? So, and sometimes, you know, that shit is helpful because you get to see shit first a little bit for the first day you observe. You use your five senses. So anyway, I that's what I did. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking, I was I know I'm a, the bros is gonna know where I'm at, who I am, and I'm gonna find out who the bros is. I already seen where the bros was at. I mean, all you got to do is look around. 
So, <laughs> I jump on the phone, somebody gets off, and I fly to this shit. Get on. Do, 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 do. Turn around, put my back to the wall. Once I put my back to the wall, I see some dude walking towards me going like this. I'm like, <laughs> I know this nigga ain't talking to me, right? And I'm on the phone, right? And he like, yo. And he's walking across the yard. He crossed through the middle of the yard. Towards me. And shit is ringing. I'm calling mommy. I'm calling mommy. He gets to like a little bit close to me. He's like, yo, bro, you ain't supposed to be on that. He's like, not bro, but whatever the fuck he said, you ain't supposed to be on that phone. You know, by this time, mommy already done picked up. So I'm not even responding. I'm like, I'm not responding. And he's getting agitated because I'm not responding. So he's like, yo, you hear me? He's getting loud. So I'm talking to my mom. I know that I was talking to her. And eventually I just put the phone down. I said, I'll holler at you when I get off. Got back on the phone. Turn my back on the nigga. I ain't gonna lie. Turn my back. And started talking to my moms. And from there, shit got crazy, twins. Damn, man. I gotta fuck that. Somebody's calling me right now, y'all. So y'all don't have to bear with me because I'm doing this video on my phone. And I gotta take this call. So hold on. <laughs> 